Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part one on the lecture on averages. Today we're going to understand how to solve problems with averages, what averages really is, and how to interpret problems on averages. So let's get started. To understand averages, let's take a scenario, right? Suppose you and your nine friends are in school, right? And you have an exam, a science exam, and you get your marks. Now you've scored 85 and your friend has scored 70 and his friend has scored 75 and stuff like that, right? So all 10 of you have got marks in science. And now someone comes and asks you, what is the average marks scored in science, right? Now, how do you do it? You will add all the marks of everybody and you will divide it by the total number of students, right? So now there were 10 students and suppose when you added all the marks, it came up to 600 marks, right? Now, when you added all of them up, it came to 600 marks and you divide it by 10. So now what did you get? You got 600 by 10 is 60. So now 60 marks is the average marks of science. Two things you need to understand when you say 60 is the average. First thing, suppose you made all, your, all the students stand in a line from ascending to descending order in marks, right? So the first guy scored say 100 marks and that's 95 and then you stood say suppose 85 and then you just went down the line. And suppose the lowest score was say about 30 marks, right? He just passed. Now, if you pick the middle guy, more likely than not, he has scored a score which is similar to the average, right? Which also comes to the second point. When you say 60 is the average of the class, it means that half of them have scored above 60 and half of them have scored below 60, right? This is very important to understand. Your average says that it is the middle score of what half your class is on one side and half your class is on the other side. Now, since it's a competitive exam, they're not going to give you 10 uh, marks and ask you to find what the average is, right? It's not going to be that simple. Suppose you had to find out the average, right? To find out the average, you just add all the marks and divide it by the total number of students. Suppose though, they gave you the average and they gave you the total number of students and they asked you what were the total marks acquired by the entire class, right? So what you need to do is you just need to multiply 60 and 10 to get 600, right? Correct, so first you added up all the marks to get 600. Now you can directly get that by multiplying the average and the total number of students. All right, so this is one part where they'll question you a lot about and they'll twist the question a little bit, but we'll get through all those sums. All right, so now you've understood averages and let's start with our first problem. All right, now for the first sum, they've given you uh, the marks of 12 children, right? 3, 11, 7, 9, 15, etc., etc., and x, right? So you have one unknown x. They've also given you that the mean of the class is 12. Now, as I said before, in some sums like this way, they're going to give you the mean and they're going to ask you what is uh, the marks of one of the kids. So to find out that, what you can do is you can find the total marks and subtract all of the other kids' marks to get the marks of the child that you need to find out, correct? So First thing what you need to do is first write down the equation that you know. The eternal equation is sum over total number is equal to the average. Now average and mean are the same thing, don't get confused, it's just an interchangeable term. Alright, so first what you need to find out is you need to find out the sum of all of this, right? So you need to add up 3, 7, 11, 9, 15, stuff like that. So if you add it up, you will see that it all comes up to 137 plus x, right? So you can't add x. So you'll add all the rest of them plus x. So 137 plus x is the total marks of your whole class. Now plug it back into the formula, right? So now your sum is going to be 137 plus x divided by the total number of children. The total number of children is 12. Is equal to, what is the average? They've given you the mean already as 12. So you're going to write 12 here, implies that 137 plus x is equal to, take 12 on this side, right? So it becomes 144. Hence, x is equal to 144 minus 137, which implies that x is equal to 7, right? Now, to verify this, what you can do is you can just put x back as 7, add all of those up, and divide it by 12. If you add it up, it'll come up to 144. So 144 by 12 is, in fact, 12, right? And that verifies your answer. Easy? Let's go into problem number 2. Alright, now for problem 2 what they're saying is that they've given you the average of 8 students as 51 and the average of 9 students as 68, right? Now, 8 plus 9 is 17 and they're asking you now what is the average of 17 students? Now, the worst mistake what you can make and what most students make is that they just add these numbers, right? So 51 plus 68 is I think 119, right? And they say that that is the new average. That is completely wrong, right? Now, another mistake what people make is that they take the average of 51 and 68 that is also wrong, right? You cannot just have fun like that way with averages. Uh, you need to make sure of some things before you can do something like that. And that does not apply in this case, 
right? So you can't take 51 plus 68 by two and say that's your answer. And definitely that will be one of the options, right? And most of them go wrong there. So now the way to tackle this is think about your eternal formula again, right? What is the formula to calculate averages? Sum over total number. Now, what do you have with you? You have the total number, you have 17, correct? Now, how can you find out the total of the marks formed by these 17 students, right? What you can do is you can multiply back to get the, the sum of each of the groups of eight people and nine people and add them up and then that will be the total marks, right? So how can you get the total marks of eight students? You can say eight into 51, right? Because you can multiply the number and the average to get the total marks, right? So what you can do is you can multiply eight into 51 and uh, you can add it with nine into 68 and that will give the total marks got by the 17 students. Then just divide that by 17 and you'll have your average, right? So we can solve this out easily. So uh, now you can just directly write it. I'm, I'm not going to write the whole formula out again. You can just say that, uh, okay, I'll write it down. Sum over total number is equal to average, right? So always have this formula in your mind. Um, so now to find the sum, you can just say eight into 51 plus, right? Have this in one bracket. And this is nine into 68, right? Divided by, so this is your sum now, divided by the total number. The total number of students is going to be eight plus nine, that is 17. Right now, what is eight into fifty one? Um, eight into fifty one is four hundred plus eight. Of that is four hundred and eight. If I'm not wrong, right? Four hundred and eight plus nine into sixty eight. What is nine into sixty eight? Uh, ten into sixty eight is six eighty. Six eighty minus sixty eight is about six hundred and twelve. Right? Okay. Divide this by seventeen. Now, what is four hundred eight plus six one two? Four hundred eight plus six one two is one thousand twenty. 1020 divided by 17. Now this is easy, right? 1020 by 17 is equal to 60, right? So 60 marks is the average of 17 students. Now you can just solve this and leave it at that, but um, try and understand something else, right? You found out that there were a, um, a group of eight students and there were a group of nine students. The eight students average is 51 and the average of nine students is 68, right? So you understand that if you mix both of those up, right, the average has to be in between 51 and 68 and you find your answer is 60 marks. Also understand that um, the first thing when I told you that you cannot just directly take 51 and 68 and find the average and that's your answer. You could do that if the groups that were involved were of the same size, right? So suppose you had eight students who got 51, right? The average of eight students is 51 and the average of eight students is 68, right? You have two groups. And then you add those groups up, right? And they ask you, what is the average of these 16 students? Then you could do 51 plus 68 by two. And that would be uh, the right answer. But here, since you have eight and nine, right? The groups are different and the math will not work. So you need to do it like this way. You need to find the total marks of each of the groups, sum both of them up, divided by the total number of students. And that is your new average. All right, so this was part one on the lecture on averages, where we saw basically what average really means and we solve problems on it. In part two, I'll solve many more tougher problems. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends about it. Do leave me a comment if you like the first video and what kind of problems you want to see in the second video. Until then, spread the knowledge.